we've reached the stage where the neck has been slotted for frets, routed for binding, and is looking a little bare. We need inlays. Now, I'm building this instrument uh, for a client, and uh, we've got some pretty specific specifications. I shouldn't put those two words next to each other. Uh, anyway, we are going to be cutting the inlay material out of the wood that we're going to be using for the body, which is a particularly pretty piece of Claro walnut. Now, before we can cut the inlay material, we need to uh, have a quick look at the material that we're cutting it from. This is a very, very pretty piece of Claro walnut. That's just an idea to that is just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like in the end. And uh, we're making the inlays out of this wood as well. So, just a quick check. The edges are slightly off center. I've got plenty of room. I'm going to cut a strip off the end, off the side at least. And uh, start inlaying. You can see on the edge of this where the figuring is, and it's much prettier than the other side. So I'm going to flatten this edge and go from there. Before I cut a sliver off this, I am going to need to square off one edge. So I've machined out a thin flat section for the main inlays, but also a couple of blanks that I will be turning on the lathe in a minute. This is lovely wood. This is a shooting board. It's incredibly basic. One piece of uh, MDF on top of another with a square angle there, a square angle, right angle. And it is used to square off the edges of thin pieces of material like this Clara walnut that I'm about to turn into binding. The thin piece of material is held up against this stop there and it allows me to cut a nice straight edge on that edge there which is otherwise rather rather difficult you can't hold this sort of thing in a vise uh, a bench vise set your plane up so it's taking a very small cut and you can hear it's taking material at the end and it's taking material at the other end that was a bad sentence. And ever so slowly, we end up with a perfect joint. And there you hear it, all the way along. A nice square joint. And that can be turned into binding for, for this neck, like so. There we go. 
and now I have a couple of flamed Claro walnut binding strips wooden binding I don't particularly want glue to go very far down the sides of my fret slots but using white glue or tight bond uh, so I suppose this is yellow glue really anyway this glue is relatively easy to remove if necessary just check I've got it lined up or that I'm gluing the right edge Spooge the glue out a little bit you'll notice that I've left the outside edge of this uh, bit of banding rough because uh, as you saw with the fretboard I'm just going to plane that down to the same width as the neck later on and from here it's as simple as uh, holding it down with bits of masking tape so we move on to the other side more spooging Again, double check that you're gluing the right edge. Whenever I glue a joint, uh, or a long joint at least, I rub the wood together as an added way to spread to spread the glue evenly. And finally just check and make sure that it is nice and tight and that no more glue squeezes out under pressure. There we have a wonderful newly bound neck.